Dr. Carson, your latest book, One Nation, uh, what we can all do to save America's f future, that applies to the New Zealand situation, the principles in this book, uh, they're transferable, are they? Oh, without question they're transferable because, you know, one of the, the big problems that, that I see are those elements in society that try to drive wedges into every little crack to create war on women, you know, race wars, income wars, age wars, religious wars, a war on virtually anything you could imagine. Well, a wise man by the name of Jesus Christ once said, a house divided against itself cannot stand. Never has stood, never will stand. And it doesn't matter where you go in the world, that's a principle that applies. Now, some of the aspects of this book kind of is like expanding the uh, controversial uh, prayer breakfast that we were talking about earlier in the program, but uh, I'm picking a fight with things like uh, political correctness and media elitism. Yes. What's your beef with those things? Well, uh, my beef is that they put a veil on people's conversation, and uh, that always leads to a bad place. You'll probably notice before people get divorced what do they do they stop talking the next thing you know their mate is the devil incarnate you know this is the same thing that's that happens in our societies when we allow the, the forces of political correctness to say you can't say this you can't talk about this you can't do this or that you know says who that's you know I've become rather defiant uh, <laughs> with these people because I just say why should I be in fear of anything? This is a free country. You should be sensitive to people, not go out of your way to, uh, to offend them or take which, them off. Which is a very different thing from being politically correct. I totally agree with being sensitive to people and being kind to people. And I think the kindest thing you can do is to encourage people to say what they believe. Because only then can you have an accurate conversation. I can't have an accurate conversation with you if you're not really able to tell me what you believe. Speak the truth in love and get both of those things in the mix. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And that is the key. I, and I believe that that's what, what Christ would advocate. Part of the difficulty of, uh, I suppose, the democratic societies in which we both live is it's set up as a balance of opposites. In the US you have the, the Democrats and the Republicans. Here we have well the same political divide and we're just months off from an election here in New Zealand. And it's, it's seen, that, seen that the adversarial system of saying, well, if you have opposite points of view opposing each other, then somehow reason will come through the middle of it and it will be the most accurate version of, of truth. Right, except you, you, again, you pick a fight with this idea. Yeah, except that you know, we've uh, gotten into the place where we take things that are not political issues and we make them into political issues. Like, you know, in the United States right now, we have this IRS issue where, you know, a, a high IRS official takes the fifth, doesn't want to say anything because it's self-incriminating. Uh, the emails from her commu computer mysteriously disappear in a crash. The other six pertinent people mysteriously there computers crash also you know yeah. come on you know that's not a political issue that is an issue of the integrity of a vital part of the government everybody should be outraged on that and yet because it happens under a particular administration you know one group lines up on one side and one group on the other side those are the kinds of things that destroy societies isn't that some balance and fairness there? Isn't, doesn't that, I mean, some people would say, this is fighting talk. This is un-American what you're saying here to, to pick a fight with the structure of, of democracy. Uh, well, you need to pick a fight with anything that isn't working and anything that is corrupt. And if you look back at the Roman Empire before its fall, one of the hallmarks was the toleration of political corruption. The book One Nation, What We Can All Do to Save America's Future, has well not only points out what is wrong with uh, some of the political systems in the United States, and that also applies to us here in New Zealand, but also is full of some uh, solutions as well. Yes. Uh, we'll be back talking more about what some of those solutions are and how we can perhaps apply them to our own lives, our own society, and uh, well, the response from the Christian community. Back with more from Dr. Ben Carson in just a moment.